Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. In today's class, we are going to see about some more MCQs on food processing. So we've discussed about various topic required for food safety officer in previous classes. Just have a look on the videos and then come to the MCQ part. So it will be a brushing of your knowledge and uh, you can also prepare well for your food safety officer examination. So this is a second video on MCQ on food processing. So now let's just get started. The first question is the instrument used for recording humidity of air. Yeah, so the options are A, hygrometer, B, thermometer, C, anemometer, and D, lux meter. So I'll just read the question once again. Instrument used for recording the humidity of air. So now take your time in answering the question. So when you see, uh, you know, uh, we'll just go with the lux meter. So this lux meter is used to measure the brightness, okay? And uh, when you talk about anemometer, uh, this is used to measure the wind speed. Okay, you want me to write it like BRI brightness. Uh, anemometer goes for wind speed. Yeah, and thermometer, we know it very clearly. That is used to measure the temperature and finally we are left only with one option that is hygrometer so this is mainly used to measure or record humidity of air so the answer for the question the instrument used for recording the humidity of air is option a hygrometer yes now the next question Bacteria may be destroyed by. So you have some four options. The first option is ultraviolet rays, extreme heat, sunlight, and both A and B. Question is the bacteria may be destroyed by dash. Yes, take your time in answering the question. First, try to eliminate the inappropriate answer for the question and then try to answer the question yeah so here we'll have we have a ultraviolet rays we know uv rays are capable of destroying bacteria what about heat yes extreme heat also destroys bacteria except the thermophiles and sunlight you know it's uh it doesn't uh it does not destroy fully but whereas you know it can preserve no, you can partially extend the shelf life of the product for some day. But extreme heat and ultraviolet rays uh, are capable of destroying bacteria. And you have another option also saying, stating both like ultraviolet rays and also extreme heat. So the answer for the question here is, the bacteria can be destroyed by both ultraviolet rays and extreme heat. So your answer would be, Yeah, so now your answer for the question is both A and B. Next. The third question is the process of removing moisture from food product is. The process of removing moisture from food product is A. Option A. Canning. Option B. Sterilization. Option C. Pasteurization. And option D dehydration so now your time starts you have another 10 seconds just know the definition and try to answer this question you've discussed all these definitions in our previous classes and just give us the answer yeah so your answer for this question you know so before getting into it i'll just tell a short uh, short thing about canning so canning is nothing but uh, you preserve okay you preserve the uh, food okay uh, you would first uh, subject uh, the food to any kind of preservation method and then okay pack it in a can so that it can have the uh, shelf life okay of the food product uh, to up to two years or something 
you can have the shelf life up to two years so you can preserve the product by canning second is sterilization sterilization is nothing but a partial uh, i mean a complete removal of uh, microorganisms pasteurization is nothing but a partial removal of microorganisms sterilization yeah the temperature is like it's greater than 100 degrees celsius and pasteurization you know uh, it will be less than 100 degrees celsius and dehydration as the name suggests it is nothing but the removal of water from food in order to increase what the shelf life of the product so the appropriate answer you know you can rule out like let me go with this yeah so i'm just going to rule out first question because canning does not remove water whereas it uh, only Preserves, okay. Preserves food. I'm just ruling it out. The second is sterilization is a complete removal of bacteria, and this is a partial removal of microorganism. And we are left only with one option that is dehydration. So the process of removing moisture from food product is called as dehydration. Yes, the next question is Pascal is a unit of touch. Option A, yeah, option A is displacement. Option B is temperature, option C is pressure, and option D is viscosity. Yeah, so the time starts. Yes, so here we know like temperature, unit of temperature is uh, degrees Celsius, it can be Kelvin, it can be Fahrenheit. Yes, so the unit of displacement is meter and uh, the unit of viscosity is pascal second and now the unit of pressure is only pascal. So in case of this question, like pascal is a unit of, you can rule out displacement, you can rule out temperature, you can rule out viscosity and the right answer is, so many, um, Yeah, and the right answer is pressure. Okay, unit of pressure is Pascal. Now, the fifth question. A pyrometer is used to measure dash. Okay, so here you can answer the question very well because uh, we've already discussed about it in the first question, I suppose. So the options are, option A is temperature, option B is pressure and option c is humidity and option d is displacement yeah so try eliminating the inappropriate answer yes so you know uh, to measure displacement we use a displacement gauge to record humidity we use hygrometer and for pressure we use a pressure gauge or a manometer yeah for temperature it is thermometer then this pyrometer is used to measure dash so this pyrometer is nothing but a remote sensing thermometer okay it is used to measure the temperature of a distant object so from this definition we can say that a pyrometer is used to measure what temperature Yes, so pyrometer is used to measure temperature. Yeah, so you can rule out the other answers like pressure, humidity, and placement. Right now, the next question is so the sixth question is viscosity of a gas. Yeah, so we've given they've given us some four options like option A increases with increasing temperature option b decreases with increase in temperature and option c does not depend on temperature option d states it first increases and then decreases so the right answer for the question is yeah so there are the right answer for this question is yeah viscosity of a gas increases with increasing temperature like when the temperature increases okay when 
the temperature increases the viscosity also increase yeah so you need to be very careful about when you have a relationship question because many a times we get wrong in relationship question we've already discussed about viscosity in previous lecture so just have a note of viscosity and uh, yeah and you will be will be very very much clear about the definition and so it be easy for us to answer such type of relationship question so the viscosity of a gas always increases with increase in temperature now the next question is question number 7 kinematic viscosity is dash kinematic viscosity is dash actually uh, it talks about what the formula here so here viscosity uh, kinematic viscosity they say it can be option a states that viscosity in the laminar flow range or the viscosity in the turbulent flow range the third one is vis uh, third one is viscosity divided by density and the fourth one is viscosity multiplied by density yeah so you have some four options so which one would fall under kinematic viscosity and your time starts now yeah so the right answer for this question is okay viscosity divided by density so it is stated that this kinematic viscosity is equal to the viscosity when it is divided by density okay when it is divided by what density so, all right so kinematic viscosity is viscosity divided by density and the next question is your stress is you have some four options option a is they say that shear stress is same as viscosity option b is nothing but it's the ratio of viscosity and velocity option c is force per unit area and option d is ratio of velocity and shear stress yes so the right option is yeah you take your time to answer this question so shear stress is nothing but it is not as same as viscosity so you have to rule it out so it is also not the ratio of what viscosity and velocity whereas shear stress okay shear stress is what is a force per unit area shear stress is force per unit area yeah and the next question is thermocouple is used to measure dash you have four options the first option is air velocity specific heat temperature and thermal conductivity okay the answer for this question is temperature thermocouple is always used to measure the temperature of a product yeah and the next question is unit of enthalpy so what is the unit of enthalpy so enthalpy is nothing but the total heat content of a body so so you have four options stating the first option is joule kilogram joule per kg only joule and none of the above and the right answer for the question is the unit of enthalpy is joule per kg yeah now yeah so that's all for today's class have a nice day and thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe